Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference World. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day like me and if not, you better be manifesting, planning and preparing for a better one because it will surely come to you all for sure. If this is your first, second or third time to Difference World, welcome you guys. Happy to have you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button before you guys leave and that notification bell so you guys can get that notification when I drop content and you come into Difference World and you come and learn what's going on with the girl, yeah? And speaking of Difference World, a little bit of background about your girl. I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain all at once. So again, first, second, third time, <laughs> definitely hit the subscribe button before you leave. Uh, today is Sunday, you guys, so happy Sunday. On uh, Sundays, we usually drop our spiritual, motivational, inspirational uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, content, uh, we drop it in regards uh, in, in terms of spiritual uplifting for those out there that may need it. Uh, and this one is no different. So this title, uh, going right into it's going to be titled uh, The Reason for Your Season or There's a Reason for the Season, uh, What You're Going Through. Uh, a lot of times when we're going through you know, trials and tribulations, we ask God, what's going on? Why me? What did I do to deserve this? And, you know, I personally can feel that effect for me right now. You know, I'm going through some things and I'm, I'm trying not to question God's, you know, will and plan as to why, you know, I'm facing so much trials and tribulations when it comes to these, you know, closed doors or, you know, taking a long time for it to open up for me, so to speak. Um, and so I just have to, you know, remind myself that there's a reason for this season. And, and normally it being is you know, to prepare you for what you're about to step into, you know, your next blessing. You know, uh, I was reading the Bible the other day, you know, um, and, and I don't I don't read it like, you know, faithfully, but every once in a while, you know, more than you know, usual now, I've been picking it up and getting into it. And I came across the scripture of Jeremiah 29, 11, and it just stated, you know, uh, paraphrasing it, it stated, uh, for I know the plans that I have for you are to not declare the Lord, excuse me, he says, uh, for they are not to harm you, but to do you good and to bring you hope and to prepare you for your future. And so um, when I'm going through things, you know, that's not going my way or it's taking a longer time or I'm facing, you know, a financial, you know, snag, <laughs> I just have to remind myself, you know, I'm just in this season for, for time being, this too shall pass and it's not going to last forever. And um, so anybody else that's going through this type of situation, you know, be it with your financial, you know, in your career wise, if you're trying to, you know, come up, you know, going after your dreams and your goals, you know, uh, whatever the case may be, just know that in the season, in that moment in time, whatever you're going through, this shall, it shall pass. And, you know, it's for you, it's not meant for you for harm, but it's meant to build you up and prepare you and to give you hope for the future and so even though it may sound you know out of whack and doesn't make sense to you at this time uh just have to have faith and trust and believe in the lord uh for those out there that believe again for those that you know it's not spiritually in tune and don't believe these be laws not for you guys so on sundays don't even bother you know watching uh just skip on that's why i say i'm more than just one option what what the law doesn't work for one may work for some so if this one doesn't you know apply to you guys just move it on to the legs but uh for those that you know that need to hear this and and, and uh, uh you need that encouragement this one is for you guys and when it comes to motivation and uplifting and encouraging others i believe you need to hear from more than one person so with that being said you guys let's go ahead and get into it i usually drop these uh, inspirational or uplifting videos that i find uh, and this one's no different i found um this one is from uh, motivational speeches and the speaker is td jakes and his title meant for that 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 uh uh, motivation speak was everything happens for a reason so it goes in tune with my message for today so here it is check it out and once we're done we'll come back on and talk a little bit more about what's going on in the difference well yeah here it is
everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoy watching and listening to that motivational or uplifting inspirational speech by Motivational Speeches. Be sure to uh, check them out. The speaker was T.D. Jakes, but uh, through the midst of that message uh, that he was bringing you guys is basically what I'm seeing. Everything happens for a reason. Everything that you're going through it is for a reason. And, 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 and that reason is not to bring you harm, but to build you up and to prepare you for the blessing that you're about to step into. And so you just have to keep the faith, keep reminding yourself, and keep going and keep striving when it comes to, you know, pushing through trials and tribulations in order to get to your triumphs. Um, and with that being said, you guys, uh, definitely, again, don't forget to check them out. And again, uh, definitely like and subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, with this vlog. I hope you guys like the message that I'm bringing with it. Um, and moving on from that, um, be sure you guys check out my website, dippin'twelve.net, all my other social media handles, my Instagram, my Twitter. Um, I'm not on Facebook anymore, so but I am uh, on TikTok now as well as YouTube. <laughs> so check out those. As well as, don't forget, you guys, you can also book me for any type of motivational speeches or uh, speaking events, excuse me, or uh, any grassroots conversations you would like for me to be a part of. You would also go to my website and book me there. I'm free of charge as of now. As well as, you guys, uh, we're ending, uh, this is uh, the last couple of days of Black History Month, uh, but it's never too late to go and cop my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Ship, available again on my website, again, differentworld.net. Uh, it is a book that is written to encourage and inform uh, dark provoking and constant conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And again, it's done through provocative and graphic illustrations. So be advised that it is intended for a mature audience. And so those that can't take this type of heat, I still encourage you guys to come on into the kitchen because that's the point of this book is to get that conversation had from both ends of the table from those that don't want to talk about it to those who do want to talk about it to have these conversations that need to be had and keep it going then then my opinion and my theory is that's where we can start seeing systemic change uh being created and so uh, go to my website differentworld.net and get your copy you guys definitely truly appreciate all the love and support that i am getting you guys um please keep it coming you guys especially with the vlogs i'm dropping you know, the podcast interviews that I'm doing. Shout out to everybody that's showing me love and letting me on their show, giving me that chance and opportunity. I'm so humble and grateful for it. Thank you, God, <laughs> you know, for all the blessings that's coming my way and preparing me. You know, even with this season that I'm in right now, it's, it's not the best season that I, I would hope for, but I know that it's going to get better. And so that's why I just keep going, keep striving, you know, keep it humble and be grateful and, and thank God in advance, you know, because that's that's the part of, you know, manifestation, seeing it before you, be, you know. Uh, uh, receive it and so you have to see it in your mind and start speaking it into existence like no other so act like it you know before you even have it what they say fake it till you make it you know fake it till you make it if you have to but in in, in it's more so the perception of as, as so as you already received it so you see it you know believe it and then receive it so uh, uh Hopefully anybody else that's going through their seasons, you know, they, they're applying this message. And if not, then, you know, find what works best for you guys. Uh, with that being said, you guys, let's move on to our last topic. Of, last topic, but the, one of the most important topics, you guys, is our mental health. Um, definitely anybody out there, even though this is, you know, the last month or the last days of Black History Month and I've been pushing for Black Mental Health Wellness all month, I'm reaching out to everybody out there that's going through any type of mental anguish. Please know that whatever you're going through, be it, you know, depression, uh, uh, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, whatever the case may be, please know that it's okay to not be okay, but never sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever the case may be talking to a therapist, getting on medication, family members, you know, talking with them about their, your issues, picking up a hobby, whatever the case, you know, whatever you have to do to keep yourself from going off the deep end or possibly taking anybody with you, then do it. If you need or if you know anybody that may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255. Or you can text or call 988 or text 741741. And for those that would prefer to go online, you can visit mentalhealthishealth.us 
or 988lifeline.org. Or for those that are outside of the U.S. and watching girls in different countries, you can visit encounseling.com. That is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G. And also, you guys, do not forget to do your own homework and find what works best for you. Even though I am giving you these mental health resources, it's on you to, you know, do your research and find what works best for you guys because you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters you guys and as far as when it comes to you know trials and tribulations please remember that you are not alone in this too shall pass and so uh, in close out with that you guys I'm with you guys uh, in spirit and my present thoughts is with everybody that's going through um, their season of a trials and tribulation and just remember to keep pushing through you know keep the faith and, and, and keep up the spirits even you know at times when you get down and out that is okay but just don't stay that way you know you know get your little r and r and then get right back at to get get right back at to it you know um like i said you know they come up like cardi b or they come back like robert e. there is no more in between you guys and so with that being said whatever it is in life that you believe in you're destined for it you got to manifest plan and prepare for it and then it will surely come to you guys different as well Learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slaves trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author different. Go to differenceworld.net.